here coming to you live from the north shore of Oahu. You're watching the Bill Bong Pipe Masters in memory of Andy Irons. We have a few guys in this heat that all looked up to the three-time world champ. Mason Ho, Jadson Andre, and Dusty Payne. We got a goofy-footed Jadson out in the lineup now. It's interesting when you look over history pots, you have to go all the way back to 2000 for the last goofy foot pipe masters champion. During the break, we had Jadson Andre break aboard. Yeah, Jadson took off on this one. This was his first wave of the heat right there. You know, it didn't look too crazy. I mean, it wasn't one of the bigger ones. Just wanted to get that, uh, get the ball rolling. But what did he do? He snapped his board, and uh, there's Italo bringing the, the back part of it in. Jadson on the beach, just uh, taking his time there. You don't want to rush. You don't want to in that, that frame of mind where you feel like you've got to play catch up, but Jaddy will be out in the lineup. The fun part is just breaking down Mason's approach and how different it is from most of the surfers in his generation. Well, you know what, it's, it's different in the sense of his style and his approach. Here we go. Looks like a late drop. Having this one is Mason Hull. The tail drops down and he'll take a beating to kick things off in round one, heat number two. Wanted to get that early entry. The tail dropped out and he couldn't recover. The thing with Pipeline is uh, you've got to pay the band if you want to dance, Joe. That's right. Jadson now locking in. He's really starting to drive deep in this pit. That end section will clamp down on him and Jaddy goes down. For the second time in this matchup, when you look at Dusty Payne Pots, you think of how much talent this kid has from Maui. We're waiting for his first one. Let's look at the replays. Yeah, you can tell Mason kind of a little bit hesitated right there. Look at that little chop right mid-face, which disengaged his board. It was almost like this lump in the wave as that thing hit that reef. And you can see how he just did a little bit of an airdrop right there that I don't think he was ready for. The thing with Mason, though, he tried to make that, Joe, and that's the crazy thing which then put him in a really daunting situation. Here's Dusty Payne, locks in, beautiful backhand tube approach. The wave spits hard, but takes down the Hawaiian. And that'll be his start now on the board. A fair effort to start off with the lead from Dusty Payne, but just fell short, Potts. So I catch the wave and then I'm super confident with this board. Well, you looked amazing out there. Italo Ferreira through to the next round. Thank you, Pete. Having a look now, Mason Ho slides in on the takeoff. Total control, and he'll pop out, setting up his backhand carve. Ho down on the rebound, but his best wave so far in the second heat of the opening round. Dusty gets a 1.7. Jadson's last also a 1.7. So we're looking for Mason to take the lead on that one. Yeah, first completed ride, Joe. So uh, he definitely uh, put himself into that first spot. 2.47 required, so... Um, yeah, no brainer. Nice little entry into that one. Wasn't a deep barrel, but just got his confidence back up, you know, and that's what happens, what you've got to do out here after a wipeout, dragging that. We saw that yesterday work uh, to great effect for Mason Ho. She comes flying out of the barrel, so nice little wave there for Mason. Not going to be a huge score, Joe. Love the way he just slides down, and that just slows him right down just to be able to get a little bit of tube time there, disappear behind the curtain. Next thing you know, he made the final at Sunset Beach. He was back on tour and had a shot at the Triple Crown. This is Mason Ho locking in. Beautiful read, super deep. That end section's gonna clamp down on him. And so he'll end up taking a couple of beatings here. Keanu's role, role this year has been upsetting guys with world titles to their name. He did that a few times in his rookie year as we now look at Jadson. Oh, taking off a little bit too late, Potts. Yeah. You know, when you take off late right like that, it's the wave almost picks you up. You know, there's so much water getting sucked off the reef. Clock. While we were away, Jadson slid out and looks like he's got to make another board change, Potts. Yeah, you know, this board looked a little smaller. Watch the fins. The fins just gave away. Maybe a fins maybe broke out. You know, there's a lot of pressure on these fin systems these days. Pipeline is a wave that deals out a lot of punishment. Jadson just taking his time. He's sitting on the beach. You know, that's that's like his third wave in a row where he's you know, taking some gas, and I think, uh, you know, the more you do that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to beat you down. You can't win. You can see there, no fin in the board, so lost the fin on that, uh, on that occasion. Onto the reef, and it might have popped the fin out, uh, at, maybe even before that wave that you saw him eat it on. Uh, I think what happened was the fin was loose or popped out, and then when he took off on the wave, the actual uh, coming down the face, it was gone, and he just slipped out and went down. So, unfortunately for him, uh, the fin system, you know, 
the, the fin popped out after the compression on the bottom, and then he just went down, coming down on the face. So hopefully, uh, you know, obviously the other boards, he's back out there ready to go. So he's back in the wild. Thanks, Strider, watching Mason Ho look back door, packs it section, and just a little bit too deep for the exit. And Mason trying to put a serious score on the board. Let's have another look here. Yeah, nice little barrel to kick things off. I like the way he stands, you know, far, like further up the board than normal. A lot of guys, and then he just pulls into the, <laughs> the closeout. I love that. that. That's commitment for you. But yeah, Mason riding a longer board. So what, what he's going to do is he's going to move up and down the board a little bit more than, say, a guy that rides a shorter board. They wouldn't let me see the boards, <laughs> but I did get a look at them yesterday. So there was a, there was a 610, there was a 74, and a 75, and they, he actually was waffling between the shorter board and the bigger board. Right at the end, he made the decision to take out the 75 and get out there on it. Actually, I think it was a 76. Sorry. Are only needing a 4.04. So, but when you look at the scores, Mason on that barrel, that big left barrel, he only got a 3.17. So. It's going to have to be a good one. This is Jadson. Beautiful takeoff. All three fins intact. He'll get puffed out. He's got a little open track. He'll just decide to pull into the inside corner. So after a few serious wipeouts, board changes for Jadson Andre. What a classic. What an opportunity as well. Um, these kind of opportunities don't come along very often. So when they do, take advantage. Here we go, Jadson. Late drop. Pull straight in. Nice little barrel right there. Jadson Andre is looking for a 4.04 on this occasion. Pulls in a little closeout at the end there. So it wasn't a big way, but look at the entry. Super steep. Jadson drives off the bottom, just sneaks under the lip right there. Comes out with the spray. So four points on that occasion. So Jadson, Jadson in second spot, needing a 1.74. He's closed the gap, Joe. Dusty Payne needs a 4.04. When you ask Dusty about his home break, as we watch this, Mason Hose now up, locks in on the takeoff, a beautiful barrel right on the foam ball, and Mason looks to straighten out towards the beach, oh. and the section takes him down. Almost looked like he had enough time to get the completion, but still, one of our favorite waves of the morning, as he's always entertaining the crowd. And Mason Ho, I mean, look, it's not gonna be a big score either. He's looking to re replace the two, five, seven. Let's have a look. Nice and tight, drives through there, up and over the foam ball right now. That's where he lost the fins a little bit, and that just delayed his exit. So, Mason Ho, let's have a look from the inside. Beautiful style right there, pulls in nice and tight, and that thing, up and over the foam ball right there, lost the fins a little bit, and that just uh, wiped a bit of speed off Joe, which made that exit that just that little bit more tricky. Else in the world, and in this event, as we check out the recap, the second heat of the morning, Mason Ho, out in front, just with small scores though, 317 and a 3.0. Beautiful drops, amazing style. The judges waiting for another wave to really open the scale up. Yeah, Judson broke a board, blew a fin out. Total commitment there from Judson Andre. He fought back though, Joe, dropping a 4.0, got himself back in the heat. You know what he needs, right there. Beautiful positioning, this was the highest scoring wave of the heat. So you don't need the big ones, Joe. You just need to get barreled. Four points on that occasion. Jackson looking for a 2.17. It's a pretty tight heat. Mason Ho, this was the best wave of the heat right here. Just delayed that exit up and over the foam ball, lost the fins, and then that uh, made that exit really tricky. So Mason going down on that occasion, and only three points for that. So a tight heat nonetheless. There's a pipe master that got a, an Eddie invite. That's just what you call an all-round guy, all-round surfer. Here we go. Having a look, Jadson Andre. Deep on this one, the section running out in front of him didn't really offer him a tube opportunity. Just needed a 2-1-7 to take the win off Mason, so it was in a very important wave. Right now, it looks like these boys are going to run out of time. We're into the countdown. Mason Ho oh. getting a call up with a wild card opportunity. Looks like this wave might come in. Horn blows, it might just be a little bit too late. Looking back door is Dusty Payne. <laughs> Goes for a little end section pack to finish. It didn't need a whole lot. The thing was, it sounded like the horn went off before he got to his feet pots. Well, we'll have to wait and see, Joe. Was that, is that going to count? I mean, talk about leaving it to the last second. Dusty so needing a 4-4-7. And, uh, well, we're getting the inside info, Joe. That's right. It's a little bit too late. By just a, probably a tenth of a second, Dusty Payne's wave will not count after the horn. He'll stay in third, Jadson second, and Mason Ho takes the win.
with a 6.17 combined total.